feel as if you're too young. No, I mean, young, no. Too black, sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, too hood, sometimes. Too young, not really. From what I hear from you all, if you all, if you get this wrong, you think we're all going to die. If we don't get this right, we will have a climate that is way less livable than we had. And people will die. And the people that will die first are folks like the folks in my family. And even if you will be the last person that will hurt, climate change, yes, it will kill us all, but it will kill some people first. And I need you to give a f Rihanna and her team didn't work on a normal climate proposal. Among the things that supporters call for, getting to net zero greenhouse gas emissions within 10 years of the bill's passage, upgrading all existing buildings to make them more energy efficient, and reimagining the economy to fix social inequities via universal health care, free college, and a federal jobs guarantee. In order for us to combat that threat, we must be as ambitious and innovative in our solution as possible. Almost as soon as it was introduced, the right seized on it. The Green New Deal, which somebody described as a high school term paper written by a poor student. Trump and Republicans have said the plan is prohibitively expensive and smacks of socialism. New deal that would eliminate much of the United States fossil fuel consumption. There have been some exaggerations. It would shut down a little thing called air travel. American favorites like cheeseburgers and milkshake will become a thing of the past. Some moderate Democrats what in the heck is this? have said the Green New Deal is unachievable. I see it as aspirational. The Green Dream, or whatever they call it. And a losing political strategy. I was expecting largely positive responses, but instead what we got a lot more of was, how dare you put these two on the same plate? I'd like to speak to your manager right now. But despite the criticism, Sunrise's so-called Green Dream exploded in the Democratic primary. Climate change is emerging as a top issue. And one by one. I'm a fan of the Green New Deal. I support the platform of the Green New Deal. They signed on. In April, Sunrise was still riding high. Does anyone want more coffee? But someone very well known was about to enter the race, the epitome of the Democratic establishment. I wonder what's going to happen with Biden. <laughs> uh, It'd be cool if he said, I'm not running, but I think you should all look at the Green New Deal. <laughs> this election is about the era of the Green New Deal, and I'm going all in. Former Vice President Joe Biden, the race's expected frontrunner, could kill any chances of the Green New Deal becoming party policy. I guess we'll know in a, in a week. At Farmers Insurance, we've seen almost everything, so we know how to cover almost anything, even a three-ring fender bender. <laughs> Sorry about that. Apologies. <laughs> Didn't mean it. Whoops. Sorry. 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 Hey, we're sorry. <laughs> Quite the circus, but we covered it. At Farmers, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Former Vice President Joe Biden is running for president. Joe Biden's gotten in the race. He's leading in polling. He's leading in fundraising. Speculation immediately began over Biden's stance on the climate issue. And then... Biden's campaign teasing a rollout on climate policy with a focus on finding middle ground. A middle ground was clearly not the Green New Deal. All sorts of people on the left said there is no middle ground. Bernie Sanders tweeted right away, there is no middle ground. Sunrise went big. Welcome, everybody! To target Biden, they called on some powerful allies. All right, stay with me now! And the allies Green delivered. New Deal! Green New Deal! We 
Republicans only call it socialism when we try to help the things we love. So here's what I say for wind and solar. Give us some of that socialism that the oil and gas industry has had for a century. You what? He said, give me some of that socialism. He was just like, give me some of that socialism. A lot of people say, well, I'm, I'm not want to combat climate change, but you know, I don't want to take on the fossil fuel industry. That is not the way it happens. It's kind of blowing my mind that like six months ago was the city and, and like this is happening. And I will be damned if the same politicians who refused to act then are going to try to come back today and say we need a middle of the in the middle of the road approach to save our lives that is too much for me young people are treated largely like it's great for you to be activists, but once it comes to policy, get back, the real adults will come into the room. Well, we are the real adults. <laughs> so. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez were taking direct hits at Joe Biden. This is about the divisions inside the Democratic Party. I've never been in the middle road on the environment. She'll find that nobody has been more consistent about taking on the environment and a green revolution than I have. But many voices within the party argue that a moderate candidate is the only way to reclaim the White House. If we navigate by this Twitterverse, we could end up out of step with our own coalition and, in fact, help to put Donald Trump back in the White House. Among those voices, a Democratic organization called the Third Way. Thank you so much for your... What do you think is the biggest threat to the Democratic Party? Uh, well, obviously, uh, the re-election of Donald Trump would fundamentally change our country, so that is by far the biggest threat. What is the biggest threat to making that possible? <laughs> Nominating someone who themselves cannot beat him or who is carrying ideas that make it very difficult to beat him. We're already seeing, of course, the Republicans, you know, calling everybody a socialist. They're, they would call Joe Biden or John Hickenlooper a socialist. It doesn't matter. They're going to do that. But there is one pretty big faction in our party who believes leaning into that will um, energize our base and mobilize voters, and that's the way to win. And then there's the other section of the party that I'm from that thinks that that is very dangerous and is a, is a way to lose. We are dueling on the rim of a volcano. And I don't think that we should be willing to gamble like that. Discover card? Hi, do you have a travel card? We do. The Discover It Miles card. Earn unlimited 1.5 miles on every purchase. Plus, we'll match your miles at the end of your first year. You'll match my miles? Yeah. Mile for mile. And no blackout dates or annual fee. Nice. I was thinking about taking a scuba diving trip. I love that. Or maybe go surfing. Or not. OK, maybe somewhere else. Maybe a petting zoo. Can't go wrong. Can't get eaten. Earn miles. We'll match them at the end of your first year. Plus, no annual fear blackouts. The Discover It Miles card. Would you rather have a battery that delivers extra life or extra power? I have the whole beach to come. Extra life. I'm going to disagree. Extra power. Extra life. Uh, extra power. Extra life. No way. Extra power. Extra life. Good news. Versus Copper Top, new Duracell Optimum can do both. Extra life in some devices, or extra power in others. Because both is better than not both. When you rest on a Lisa Hybrid mattress, bedtime is no longer simply the time you go to sleep. It's time to switch off and catch up. Enjoy me time and we time. 40 winks or eight hours solid. The Lisa Hybrid Mattress combines two technologies to give you deeper rest and rejuvenation. 
1,000 pocket springs provide edge-to-edge -edge support, responsiveness, and comfort, while premium foams relieve pressure, keep you comfortably cool, and limit motion transfer. Lisa's hybrid mattress is not only recommended by experts, experts choose to sleep on it too. Try it yourself in any West Elm store, or order online and we'll ship it to your door so you can try it risk-free. The Lisa Hybrid is American-made, built to last, and because everyone needs a place to rest, we donate tens of thousands of mattresses to those in need. Experience the Lisa Hybrid Mattress. Right now, it's on sale. Order today. Go to lisa.com. By the end of May, more than half of the Democratic presidential hopefuls had signed on to the Green New Deal. But Sunrise wanted them to go even further and pledge not to accept money from the fossil fuel industry. All right, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight. As you may know, this weekend is the California Democratic Convention. And not only are a lot of state officials going to be here and party members going to be here, but there's also going to be a lot of presidential candidates here. So this is a huge moment for us. Sunrise trains its volunteers to use confrontational tactics meant to unnerve politicians. We're going to start off by um, learning how to bird dog together. Basically, in a nutshell, it is eliciting a public response through a strategic question or a series of actions. So it's a tactic that we use to get a candidate to get on record saying something very directly. Bird dogging looks like this. So we want to know, do you stand with us? And if you do, will you prove it today by returning that dirty money and signing the no fossil fuel money pledge? We are returning that check from the lobbyists because we declared at the outset that there would be no money accepted from lobbyists. When you have a video like that, it's a really powerful tool because that then can move the rest of the field of candidates further to where we would like them to be on a given issue. Want to do one or two as a group? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> are you going to sign the No Fossil Fuels um, Pledge? Staffers are, are here right now, so they'd be happy to take your information. Will you take the No Fossil Fuel Pledge and stop playing us? And I actually have the pledge here for you to sign. <laughs> the energy the convention was an opportunity for sunrise to exert its influence thank you california using the pledge they tested the candidate's commitment to rejecting money from the oil and gas industries Biden, joe biden skipping california's democratic convention where is joe where is joe with the front runner absent sunrise set their sights on another high profile candidate we, we think kamala so we're waiting for her to come outside. How do you feel? Yeah. I just feel nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, my name is Melissa. As a woman of color, if you are elected as president, I will for the first time have a president who looks like me. Oh my gosh, let's go. Okay. Oh. Oh. What's your name? Okay. And climate debate? Yeah. Okay. Come on. My daughter begged me to take this off. Oh, I like the shirt I made for you. <laughs> Hi, Senator Harris. 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 Hi, Senator Thank you so thank much you for coming. Much. Thank you for being so thank creative. You. I, I love it. I love it. Wait. Oh, I'm voting for you again. Thank You're you. a darn rock star. Again. But I'm down. Thanks for signing. Thank you, Senator Harris. Good to see you. Thank you. Senator Harris. Hi. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah. Hi, Hi. How are you doing? You good? Yes, I'm good. I'm good. Nice to see you. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Can, we, so can I get a Give us a minute. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> that was a lot. I put the side now. So you can come back out. That was okay. You're going to go. No. Sorry. Oh, good. Lord, I could go for coffee and a bagel. And then, Senator Cory Booker offered to sign the pledge. No bird dog necessary. Because I want to get it right down here, really big. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for your activism. Appreciate you. We just got Cory Booker to sign the No Fossil Fuel Money Pledge. Like, 
that just happened. We're asking all the candidates to sign our no fossil fuel money pledge, which means that you're committing to moving away from fossil fuels and not taking money from the oil and gas packing industry. This is our line of the sand. This is what we need. What we've got to do is not try and divide people and, and get them to sign or not. We need to bring people together. But just consider signing because right, as young people that are scared about climate change, this is what we're asking right, for. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. Oh, wow. That just happened. So I'm going to sign right on top. How's that sound? By the end of the convention, 16 candidates have signed the No Fossil Fuel Money Pledge, including Senator Kamala Harris. This is what moving the party to the left looks like. Nice. I know some of the candidates. Mm -hmm. They're taking certain positions that I feel that they normally would not take. They're playing to primary voters. The primaries are important, but the real game that we have to look at is what happens in November. Representative Henry Cuellar is a centrist Democrat who is facing a primary challenge from progressive activists. Are these type of activists pushing the party too far to the left? Absolutely. New Green Deal. Of course we want to address climate change. But when you come in and you're saying that in 10 years you're going to get rid of fossil fuel, that's going to be extremely difficult. The, the effort that's going on in the party right now, what, what, what does it mean for the future of Democrats? When they're trying to police your thoughts and say the only thoughts that should be available are the far left and that's the only one that counts, you're destroying the diversity of the Democratic Party. It reminds me of what President uh, LBJ said many years ago when they had the same type of fights within the Democratic Party in Texas. He said, what's the difference between a liberal and a cannibal? What is it? Cannibals don't eat their own. At Ace, kids are some of our favorite customers. How do you unglue? Why would anybody want to take their duck? There's nothing better than helping kids. That's why ACE supports Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. This Friday through Sunday only. Donate $5 to your local Children's Miracle Network Hospital at your neighborhood ACE and get the five-gallon bucket plus 20% off almost anything that fits inside. ACE is the place with a helpful heart. Uh, Excellent. Fact is, every insurance company hopes you drive safely. But Allstate actually helps you drive safely with DriveWise. It lets you know when you go too fast and brake too hard with feedback to help you drive safer giving you the power to actually lower your cost unfortunately you can't do anything about that now that you know the truth are you in good hands our federal government needs to go entirely carbon neutral that's what we need to do by the beginning of June, 16 candidates had endorsed the Green New Deal. Biden's position remained unknown. Then, he did something unexpected. Today, I'm announcing my plan for clean energy revolution. Joe Biden's releasing his climate plan today after weeks of promises. His policy is going even further than President Obama's policy. Today, Joe Biden announced his climate plan and embraces a Green New Deal framework this was a strategic move to the left. While Biden didn't embrace all the Green New Deal social goals, a senior advisor for his campaign thanked Varshney and Sunrise for their advocacy. How's it going? That's a, probably a better question for you. Oh my God, I know. I, I'll admit, I was like straight up in shock when I woke up this morning and I saw this like 22 page document from Joe Biden. And we're taking a victory lap for that because I don't think that would have happened if Thousands of young people were now um, sounding the alarm about the crisis. The question is, will he go far enough? Today we are on our way to Jim Clyburn's Fish Fry. This is the real beginning. All the projections are over, and we're actually starting to get to the meat of the primary. Best evidence the party's move to the left has been Biden's climate plan. I mean, he acknowledged the power of the left, acknowledged the movement, but you have to wonder whether that is sustainable, right? 
Anyway, have your nominees moved too far to the left? No, no. Look, look. Everybody up there basically agrees on the same. So the reason, you know, it's, it's how they say it. And they disagree, and you know, in degree. You've been described as the moderate candidate in the race. Do you think that's a no, fair description? I, look, I wish they'd call me that every time I ran and won in Delaware. I would have won by 80 percent of the vote. <laughs> look at my record. Man. It is interesting. Like he does not. He will not agree with the term that he's the moderate. He won't agree that the other people have moved too far to the left, partly because he wants to project unity. I mean, his campaign is very centered on the idea of you just got to replace Trump and the world gets back to being better. That is a much different message than what the other campaigns are saying. Want to turn it on? Welcome to night two of the first Democratic debate in the 2020 race for president. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Last night we heard from 10 candidates and now 10 more take the stage. The candidates are in position, so let's get started. We're going to start today with Senator Sanders. Good evening to you. We helped shift the entire gravity around which these presidential candidates and, and politics in America stands with regards to the issue of climate justice. Hey guys, Senator Harris, I'm addressing you first on this. Climate change is a major concern for voters in your state. Explain specifically what well, you're First saying. of all, I don't even call it climate change. It's a climate crisis. It Thank represents you. an existential threat to us as a species. It is a critical issue. That is why I support a Green New Deal. Yes! 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 Yes. It wasn't just climate. The debates marked the party's shift left on several issues. We have a new vision for America. Medicare for all. DACA, guns. Raise your hand if you think it should be a civil offense rather than a crime to cross the border without documentation. <laughs> can we keep the hands up so we can see them? I don't think we realized we would be in this place six months ago or eight months ago or whenever it was. But well, we're here now and the stakes feel really, really high. Trump number one, America first. A vote for any Democrat in 2020 is a vote for the rise of radical socialism. Seating the activists are playing into your hands. Absolutely they are. And yesterday, one of the activists said, I forget which one of them, we will not be silenced. And I looked at my phone and I said, thank goodness that you are the best advertisement for President Trump. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Check out her scores, by the way, with her new Green New Deal, the Green New Deal, where did that come from? This is a critical moment in American history, one that resonates with moral urgency. That's why I say, hey, if they don't like it, let them leave, let them leave. Let them leave. Democrats agree that whoever wins their internal war will have to face an even more daunting opponent, an incumbent backed by a Republican Party that is energized and united. YouTube has disrupted societies around the world, and now Brazil. Does that make the company responsible for the death threats? YouTube has to be accountable for supporting hate speech. 